welcome to FNAFterthoughts, where I go over my Five Nights at Freddy's theories, and today we're going to be talking about everything we know slash think will be in FNAF Security Breach. And you're probably wondering, hey, Mr. Sam Muffin Guy, why are you saying we? Well, that's because we're today joined by a very special guest, Elementia Studios, so thanks for coming. Basically, what's going to happen is we're doing a collab video on each of our channels, on his channel, so go watch his video on his channel. We're going to be talking about our theories on this story for Security Breach, and on my channel, the video you're watching right now, we're going to be talking about our theories on the gameplay. So first of all, let's talk about this room over here with the giant Golden Freddy statue. What are your thoughts on it? So I think we can all agree that most, if not all, of the rooms we see in the Security Breach teaser trailer will probably end up being in the actual game. So the question is, what's going to be the purpose of said areas? At this point, I think it's safe to assume that this game is going to be free roam, so we can kind of use that to help figure out exactly what these rooms are going to be for. First of all, I think that big room with the statue, which looks like the entrance, might be a lobby of sorts, or at least an easy way of getting between areas. Or if the game is sadly not free roam, it might be similar to the main area in FNAF VR where you choose your level. I don't really think that this area is going to be like the main area in Help Wanted because, I mean, this probably is going to be free roam. I don't imagine it having level select. And even if it's not free roam, I still don't think we're going to have a monitor with little level selects. I think this is going to be more like a main hub area, not like not a level, not like a level select area, just like, you know, a little area to go to, uh, probably in front of the show stage. And I'm assuming that we are going to see the animatronics perform. Eventually, I think they're all gonna randomly disappear, but I don't think anything really bad is gonna happen here. It's just a chill area that we can hang around if we want to, if we wanna get a break from all the scariness. But eventually, I do think something bad will happen. The animatronics will come back probably after Vanny hacks into them, and they will probably not be very nice by then. So I think eventually this will become a bad area where we will no longer be chill. We will be very scared. Maybe chill, who knows? It depends what you think looks scary in this game. The second area I wanna talk about is this laser tag area. So what do you think the gameplay in this spot's gonna be like? Now, TNT said that he thinks the laser tag arena is going to be a sort of first person shooter area. In my opinion, I don't think guns fit very well with FNAF style at all. I think it's going to be similar to what we saw in the book, The Fourth Closet. For those of you who didn't read it, uh, there was a, a part where Funtime Freddy was chasing two characters through a big mirror maze. And I think this could be uh, similar to that, only with Vanny or maybe one of the animatronics, like that suspicious moon man. Yeah, I do kind of think this area is going to be like a first-person shooter kind of thing. Uh, the thing with the mirrors you said... Uh, kind of reminds me of, like, Stranger Things. Uh, you know how um, they were in the mirror maze area and that Russian guy was trying to chase them? <laughs> now I kind of think it's going to be like that. Originally I was just thinking, you know, laser tag, go on, shoot things. Now I think we could be chased by somebody that has a gun. <laughs> Not a human, I mean, like, an animatronic. Uh, but, yeah, I think that could happen. So, basically, I think this is going to be, uh, like, some laser tag area, just a first-person shooter. You've got your gun. You've got to shoot the animatronics, maybe just Vanny. Maybe we'll have a duel against Vanny in a laser tag area. That would be pretty cool. Hey, yo, pee pee poo poo check. Pee pee poo poo. Pee 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 pee. The next thing I want to talk about is this kitchen area. That's the area that had the moon man in it. So, what are your thoughts on that one? The kitchen could be a sort of parts and service area where maybe you're being chased through it by this moon man while trying to collect certain items. I think that could be a really fun addition to this to this game, and I think that the kitchen would work really well for that. Yeah, I think this kitchen area might be sort of like Corn Maze, where you had to go collect those keys and hide behind cardboard cutouts to hide from Grim Foxy. But this is a kitchen, probably no giant cardboard cutouts here, so I'm probably going to go collect some random supplies. I don't know what it will be, maybe like Chica's frying pan or something like that. Just collect some stuff, hide behind stuff hide inside of the oven, <laughs> hide inside of the oven and try to hide from Glamrock Chica or something like that. Yeah, so I basically think this kitchen, you're just gonna have to collect stuff and hide from Glamrock Chica or the Moon Man. Uh, the Moon Man is the guy that was hiding in the corner, so it could be either Glamrock Chica or the Moon Man, or both, both is good. So now the next area I want to talk about is this area, I don't know, you would call it like the basement or something. What do you think about this area, Elementia? 
The fourth area here could house a sort of puzzle. It looks like a warehouse or a storage facility with all the forklifts and the big shelves. Which could be interesting because judging from how big of an area it is, it probably is pretty important to the game. But yeah, I definitely think there's going to be at least an important puzzle here or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure what it's going to be like. Maybe some kind of, like, vent repair mixed with parts and service. Uh, it does seem like this is going to be some kind of basement area. So I think maybe this will be, like, just, yeah, like a vent repair. You go repair different areas. Like, maybe you go into this giant, uh, whatever, what would you call it, like, radiation funnel? I don't know what they're called. But I think, yeah, just go repair stuff. Maybe some animatronics. Like some broken down animatronics, not the not the main four, but maybe just like some other animatronics you can come find. Maybe one of the main four, like after they've been hacked, maybe you've got to try to bring them back to goodness. So that would be maybe possible. And I guess you know what? Well, I think the order of these things will be. I think the main area is going to be the one with the Golden Freddy statue, and the second area I think will be the laser tag. Pretty much the order I said now: it's the Golden Freddy statue, the laser tag, the kitchen basement but wait a minute there are probably a lot of other areas huh actually come to think of it i think there could be a lot more puzzles in this game with the whole free roam capacity and such Stu wool mentioned on their website that this building is going to have three floors and there are some rooms that we haven't even seen yet such as a cinema and in the first area with the golden statue you can see a gift shop and a seating area at the top I'm thinking the gift shop could be a place where, similar to FNAF VR, at the prize counter, you can pick up your prizes and stuff and just fool around with them. Or something similar to that anyway, it would be a bit trickier to pull that off without VR, but I'm thinking it could be something along those lines. Yeah, you're right, there probably are a bunch of other areas since it is a three-story building. I'm sure there are some areas we haven't seen yet. Also, like, how in that main area, yeah, you did see that seating area up at the top left. Uh, what is that? You saw a gift shop in that area too. That could be something. Uh, this game could be like crazy. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, maybe Twelve Nights at Freddy's. Who knows? There could be a lot of areas in this three-story building. So I guess we'll kind of see what it's like. Definitely a lot of different areas. Maybe we'll find Vanny with a dead kid. That wouldn't be good. But Elementia, thanks for coming, and those are all of our FNAFer thoughts. If you want to subscribe, click the button on top of my head. If you want to go over to his channel and watch his part where we talk about the story, click that button over there. And if you want to see some other videos I made, click these buttons over here. And I'll see you on his channel.